And here's our next example of how to use synthetic division to find the roots of a third order polynomial. Here's our equation, f of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x plus 24. And let's say we have no idea what the roots are, but they're there, we need to find them. So we're going to try, and so let's say uh, try x equals 1. So the way to do that is to take the coefficients, which is 1, negative 3, negative 10, 24. And our division symbol, uh, put the 1 over here, put the line down, drop the first number, 1. And now we go ahead, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 plus a negative 3 is negative 2, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, add those together, negative 12. Negative 12 times 1 is negative 12, add them together, you get 12. There's a remainder, meaning that's definitely not one of the roots, but keep in mind that this actually does tell us something. So now we're going to try our next try. How about try uh, x equals negative 1? All right, so negative 1, use the same coefficients, 1, negative 3, negative 10, 24. Come down here, put the line down, drop the 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, add it together, negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 1 is a positive 4. Add them together, get negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 1 is 6. Add it together, you get 30. Our remainder, again, we did not find the roots. But notice that the remainder here is larger than it was over here. Remember, I went from a positive 1 to a negative 1, and my remainder became bigger. So what I'm going to do now is go in the other direction. Instead of going from 1 to 0 to negative 1, I'm going to now go from 1 to a 2, because I think I need to go in the other direction to try and make this number become smaller. So let's see what happens when now I try x equals 2. So I put my 2 down here, my division symbol, the same coefficients, 1, negative 3, negative 10, 24. Put the line down here, drop the 1. 1 times 2 is 2, add them together, negative 1. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, add them together, you get negative 12. Negative 12 times 2, negative 24, add it together, you get 0. Bingo! We found the root. So you can see that if, the, if you try different things and the remainder gets bigger, you're going in the wrong direction. You need to change direction and try in the other direction. We went from 1 to a smaller number, so that means we need to go from 1 to a bigger number. We tried it and we found the root. So what that means now is that x minus 2, this cannot be written as x minus 2 times and these are the coefficients of what's remaining. That would be x squared minus x minus 12. And this is easy to find the roots of because it's just a uh, second order polynomial. And so we can say, well, that can be written like this, x minus 2 times. And we can use our old methods. We look for a number that when we add, we get negative 1. When we multiply, we get negative 12. So how about negative 4? and a plus 3, because that multiplies together, gives me a negative 12, and when I add them together, I get a negative 1. So using our factoring technique, we then easily find the other two roots. But synthetic division was able to get you the first root, which is always a very hard one to find for a third-order polynomial. And that is how you do that.